What you can do when your texture in your painting is just too hard to remove. Oh, it's sort of beautiful, those old branches. But the new painting, you don't give a crap about the old paint. So I take um, diluted uh, paint, any color, but a bright, bright color. And uh, I make a very spontaneous image of my Gaia tree, the energy. Well, Gaia in Greek language means earth, right? But it's symbolically, it's a goddess of all life in the universe. <clears throat> not because Greeks thought the universe is only planet earth. I, I'm not sure what they thought. I don't give a shit what Greeks thought. I know what I know, and I don't tell you what I know unless I want to tell you. So basically, I am creating texture, today texture, to overcome the power of the texture from 20 years ago, 10 years ago, with sand. This is baked sand. I baked it, and it turned red. But not every frying pan, uh, pan will turn it We'll turn it, and I'm throwing the sand also unevenly, also spontaneously, because I really don't want it to be uh, dibbly nibbly. I want it to be as spontaneous as natural. And after it dries, okay, the sand is gonna grab on wherever. Uh, excuse me, I have to stop eating. I'm probably gonna review it and try another layer, preferably with the same color to keep the the idea of the substance of Gaia. I think I need to throw a little more where the, the grass is, okay? Uh, very gentle, very slowly. So it looks like a crazy man made it with a broom, just the way they spoke about Vincent van Gogh, the only article they wrote about him when he hanged his sunflowers. Uh, learn art history, so you will come to realize you're not the weirdest person in the universe, but People are fucking crazy and they paint crazy shit and it changes history. <laughs>